Good morning, great to see you. The see you. 2013 San Diego Chargers draft needs. Where do you start? Well, I think offensive line. You know, obviously they can playmakers as well at the perimeter. I think the pass rushers are always going to need as well. So, you know, it's it's an offensive line group that's a lot better than I think we originally expected. You've got Luke Jokel at offensive tackle. You've got two guards in Warmack from Alabama and Cooper from North Carolina. You get Central Michigan's uh, Eric Fisher, Lane Johnson yes. from Oklahoma, who's a really phenomenal athlete, and the arrows pointing up with him. And then DJ Fluker as well from Alabama, who's more of a right tackle, but moves a little bit better than I expected with, with just enormous size. Is there a big separation with the tackles that you mentioned? From Luke Jokel seems to be the consensus number one, maybe the first tackle taken. But is there a big drop off between Jokel, Lane Johnson, Eric Fisher's? And DJ Fluker. I think what you see is three guys with those, those three guys are the the premier left tackle okay. types okay. and Jokel is the most complete and polished of the group. I think Eric Fisher coming from the level of competition in at the Mac not quite as you know not doesn't put, face the competition week in and week out. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean that there are question marks there. He went to the senior bowl and was outstanding but there's some little things that he can improve upon. He's not quite as consistent as Jokel in terms of the the pass uh, pass protection and, and run blocking, uh, but he's still a top he's a top seven top ten type player. Lane Johnson is the the most raw of the three, but might be the most exceptional athlete of the three. So I think there's a little bit of separation between Jokel and Fisher, then a little bit of separation between Fisher and Lane Johnson, and then probably the widest gap of the four would be between Lane Johnson and then down to uh, down to Fluker simply just because he projects as a right tackle. Okay, so you met so you mentioned an offensive line quickly with the Chargers where else and in free agency could change things where else do you see their needs yeah I, I think finding pass rushers you know that to me in, in this year's class you've got a lot of good good defensive front seven players you know beyond the Jarvis Jones and the DeMontre Moores that everyone knows about there's so many good players in the defensive front seven guys you know, they play can play five technique defensive end, can play nose tackle, can play, you know, four three. You're seeing so many more versatile players come out. And I think now in the league with so many teams playing combination three four four three, it's starting to kind of work in, in the NFL's favor. It, it's all about being multiple and having that versatility. And this year's class is loaded, I think, in the in the late first to second round range. So if they don't get one in the first round, they, they still have a chance to get one in round two. Okay, two quick questions. Who is the first quarterback taken in this draft? I think Geno Smith from West Virginia. Uh, two players out of San Diego State, Gavin Escobar and Leon McFadden. Where, do, where are you projecting them at this point? McFadden is more of a mid-round, I think probably a n number three, number four, worst cornerback in the league. Had a really good week in the Senior Bowl. Um, turning and running is his challenge, but he does everything in the short to intermediate very well. And Gavin Escobar has got a chance to be the third or fourth tight end taken in this year's draft. I, I like him a lot. He's not a great blocker. He's, he's weak and needs to get stronger, but he can fly. And he's a good athlete, and he, he's just a playmaker. And you've got Ertz from Stanford and Tyler Eifert from Notre Dame, and I think it's come down to probably Escobar and, and maybe uh, Jordan Reed from Florida to be that, that third tight end off the board. Uh, thank you very much.